authenticity. I looked it up, and it was like truly what something is said to be. Um, when I first moved out, I moved into a home that had three roommates, and one of my roommates, Sarah, said that she really liked me because I didn't feel like I was trying to do a thing. Um, she's one of the most influential people I've ever met, and we usually just talk in passing, so that's, um, kind of saying something. She just always seems like she knows what she wants, and she's such a strong and, like, patient person, and I, I look up to her a lot. But, um, she always says things like living your truth and using the word authentic. And, um, this really stuck with me, I think, because it was not only one of the best compliments I think I've ever received, but I've always just been really drawn to, like, characters, um, like, people who are very eccentric in themselves and not trying to conform to a narrative based off of how they think that they should behave. I feel like when I live my life, I always go back to this, like, none of this matters anyway because I'm just gonna die someday. Um, but in, like, the most happy way possible because there's no pressure or narrative to how I should be living. I feel like people more than ever are just doing things because they think that they should. Like, um, university. People are just rushing into university after high school because they don't know what else to do and they think that it's what they should do. Whereas if people were just more honest with themselves then they'd be less, um, tethered to doing stuff that doesn't actually make them happy. Um, I think social media has a really amplified this historically recent idea of subscribing to who you are when people are also fluid and ever-changing. Like, everyone should be growing across their entire life, because that's what makes us human. That's what makes, um, the human experience so cool, is that we're so capable of learning and remembering stuff. Um, I see it a lot with Instagram and TikTok especially, with subcultures and stuff. I never had Twitter, but I know that it's really present there too. Um, People just really want community, and then they find a community, but then they're scared to grow within it because they've already expressed to the world who they are. Um, All while algorithms make the content you watch reinforce your beliefs to you, regurgitating them back to you until you can't fathom any other ideology besides your own being right. Um which is just very problematic for many reasons. In my life, I think I would be really, really satisfied with my existence as a person if I just, like, never stopped learning in it. I just want to always be learning. Um, I really like learning about philosophy right now, and I like singing and painting. I love painting so much. I would love to make paint with me videos someday. Like, I love monologue videos where people are just like talking i feel like those are so sweet and then they just make make you want to make art more too because you're listening to somebody talk um which is just like so wholesome and so sweet and i was like there's nothing stopping from me stopping me from just like setting up my camera and reading some of the stuff that i write in my journals because i write a lot i just um I don't do anything with it. I was thinking I could make, like, a collection of work someday, um, like, some sort of novel, but, um, I just don't really want to type it out right now. That's the only excuse I have. I just don't really want to type it out right now, and, um, I don't know. I kind of really, really like video format. I like, I like monologuing, because that's the stuff I like to listen to, so it's cool that I can be creating that content in the world. I'm actually redoing this video, um, because I had it done, but in a video about authenticity, I feel like you just need to be, like, talking, you know what I mean? I don't feel like it can be in, like, a structured, scripted thing. I just, um, that just doesn't work. Um, and it feels weird, like, reading out of my journal things that I've written to myself, in, like, a a curated way, um, I would just much rather it be like this. This feels, like, way more natural and normal and, um, vulnerable, which is the whole point of authenticity, is to be vulnerable. I'm just really excited to be able to look back at everything that I'm making, um, all the music I'm making, And if I make videos, then all the videos that I'm making when I'm old and be able to be like, this is 
what I made when I was 18 years old and how I sounded like and what I thought about and what was important to me and just be able to grow as a person because I'm going to forever be growing too. Um, yeah, so it's really cool if you find this video. It's really okay if nobody does. And I'm speaking into a grand void because that's what most of life is anyway. Okay, that's it. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll just crap it out. We made it! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs>